First Conversation, August 3rd, 1666. The first time I saw Brother Lawrence was upon the 3rd of August, 1666. He told me that God had done him a singular favor in his conversion at the age of 18, that in the winter, seeing a tree stripped of its leaves, and considering that within a little time the leaves would be renewed, and after that the flowers and fruit appear, he received a high view of the providence and power of God, which has never since been effaced from his soul, that this view had perfectly set him loose from the world, and kindled in him such a love for God that he could not tell whether it had increased during the more than forty years he had lived since, that he had been footman to Monsieur Fubert, the treasurer, and that he was a great awkward fellow who broke everything, that he had desired to be received into a monastery, thinking that he would there be made too smart for his awkwardness and the faults he should commit, and so he should sacrifice to God his life with its pleasures, but that God had disappointed him, he having met with nothing but satisfaction in that state, that we should establish in ourselves a sense of God's presence by continually conversing with him, that it was a shameful thing to quit his conversation to think of trifles and fooleries, that we should feed and nourish our souls with high notions of God, which would yield us great joy in being devoted to him, that we ought to quicken, i.e. to enliven our faith, that it was lamentable we had so little, and that instead of taking faith for the rule of their conduct, men amused themselves with trivial devotions which changed daily, that the way of faith was the spirit of the church, and that it was sufficient to bring us to a high degree of perfection, that we ought to give ourselves up entirely to God with regard both to things temporal and spiritual, and seek our satisfaction only in the fulfilling of his will, whether he lead us by suffering or by consolation, for all would be equal to a soul truly resigned, that there was need of fidelity in those times of dryness, or insensibility and irksomeness in prayer, by which God tries our love to him, that then was the time for us to make good and effectual acts of resignation, whereof one alone would oftentimes very much promote our spiritual advancement, that as for the miseries and sins he heard of daily in the world, he was so far from wondering at them that, on the contrary, he was surprised that there were not more, considering the malice sinners were capable of, that, for his part, he prayed for them, but, knowing that God could remedy the mischiefs they did, when he pleased, he gave himself no further trouble, that, to arrive at such resignation as God requires, we should watch attentively over all the passions which mingle as well in spiritual things as in those of a grosser nature." that God would give light concerning those passions to those who truly desire to serve him, that if this was my design, viz. sincerely to serve God, I might come to him, Brother Lawrence, as often as I pleased, without any fear of being troublesome, but if not, that I ought no more to visit him, 